What's up everybody, Sam Smice here. Today I want to show you to make some of the synths from Water by Tyla. There's two main synths that are playing the chords in the song. I feel like there's one that is a electric piano style synth, maybe like some kind of Rhodes or like a Mark I, Mark II electric piano. And then there's a second one that has this like really nice pitch bend at the beginning of each of the notes. And that is the main one I want to show you. And I'll also show you how to make a electric piano style synth. And I will be showing you how to make both of these synths in zero. I don't know the exact chords. I wish I had the ability to figure out the exact notes of the chords and the voicing. I'm not a, a keyboard p uh, player, like not a piano player, so it's a bit harder for me to know the exact voicings. Let's just go ahead and go into, let's go into this first one, the one that has a nice like pitch bend up. This one, I'll show you the chords that I uh, came up with. And I had the key in E flat minor and so this is like a E flat to E flat minor to I think a D flat major are the chords. And then you can kind of see the voicings that I have for this pitch bend up one. And then for this electric piano style synth, let's check out these voicings. So I have these notes that are held out because I wasn't sure. It felt like there was like a low pad happening in between this section here. Like, um, but maybe those lower notes were held out. So that's why I held, held out those lower notes. So if I had to guess what these chords are, I think it's like a E flat minor to a B flat minor with the seventh up in there. And then I have this one, which is like a D flat major again, but the voicing is a bit different. I have this A flat down for the bass note instead of up here. And then this one, I think I also have like a D flat major, but I have um, a different voicing again. I have the A flat up there. So I don't know if those are the exact chords, but sounds pretty close to me. Um, so let's just show you how to kind of make up this synth that has the pitch bend in it. So in my serum, what I need is I need a nice, just a sine wave, and that's it to get the, that rhodes E sound. So that's all I did. I just put on that sine wave. It sounds really great by itself. Let's take out some of the attack, just slow that down a tiny bit. And uh, let's take out, uh, let's go ahead and adjust this envelope too, because this is how I will be doing that pitch bend up, it, it sounds really nice. So I'll take down this decay to about there, and then I will take this envelope two and assign it to this coarse tuning, and I will hit shift and option so that it only goes unidirectional. See, it's bi-directional going both of the ways, and I click and it goes unidirectional. Uh, oops, I did it twice. So I'll take this down now, I'll take it down to negative 12, about there, because now it's going to go this envelope too, you see it goes up and down, but it's just gonna go uh, down to up on the course tuning because I have it at the negative 12. So you can hear that has a nice pitch bend. Let me take it down this level a bit. And that's kind of what I'm after. I also feel like it, it pans back and forth and to do that, you can do that with your LFO. So this LFO, let's set the rate to one bar and the mode can be at off because I can just have it like randomly be triggered each time I'm playing the notes. So I will do LFO one to the panning and we'll do this maybe about like 50% or so. So there you can hear it like panning back and forth. And now to get it wide, I'm going to go into the effect section and add on a chorus. The chorus, I have it at 100% uh, mix and that's gonna give it a, like a really wide chorusy sound. So let me just play some notes on my keyboard. Really nice wide chorusy sound. You can take it on this mix if you don't want it to be super chorusy. But then you still have it more of like a mono-y sound. Then I'm gonna take out some of that low end. Boost up that level. And I'll just add on a compressor. And 
a plate reverb and I have the width kind of mono at about like 20%. I thought that sounds really cool. After you hit the chord, you have this like mono reverb ringing out. And that's really it for this uh, wide layer synth with that really nice pitch bend up. And pretty simple sound, but really effective if you are a keyboard player making any of this like R&B or I guess this is a Emmy piano uh, style of track. If you are trying to make some like really nice chords and stuff. Um, then that's pretty effective. So now for an electric piano, if you have uh, like contact, you can go and uh, they, they have some libraries in contact where you can use like a Mark one, Mark two style electric piano. But for the, for the, for the way that I did it, I just went into serum. And once again, I did a sine wave. So I started out with a sine wave. Here's my envelope. See, it already just sounds like that with uh, with that sine wave on and the effects. I don't have any effects because for the electric piano, that one sounded a bit more mono to me. And then that one with pitch bend up sounds like it kind of surrounded that electric piano one. So I left this one in mono. Still took out some of that low end. Maybe I could just add a bit back. And then for this oscillator B, if you add in a uh, a... FM modulation using, so I have a sine wave here, level is all the way down. This octave is up pretty high, so it's a really, really high, um, really high pitch sound if I were, were to listen to that by itself. <laughs> uh, but when you add in, it in with the FM, so I have this FM from B, then you get this like cool, uh, let me just bypass this real quick. almost like chimey sound. So what I hear in the song, I I don't know if this is like a separate synth on top of this electric piano sound, but on some of the notes I hear that like chimey sound. So what I figured out uh, that you could do is you could assign this envelope to, to the FM from B and let's go ahead and just turn that back on. So you can hear a bit of that chiminess and I have this at a pretty long decay. So that chime slowly decays. And some of the chords, I don't hear the chime. So if I take a look at my MIDI, this is like 100 or so, and then this I have it at like 80. And what I did is I went into my velocity, I gave this a curve, so it was here, I gave it a curve. And then I went into my matrix and assigned my velocity to the aux source. So I went here, dragged it to my aux source, and uh, on this envelope to assign to the warp. And so that means that the harder I hit my keys, the more this envelope two will be affecting the FM from B modulation. So if I hit it quietly, we can see this little blue dot, how far it goes up. Versus if I hit my keyboard hard, now it's being affected by the envelope two to the max modulation. So that's a way that you can make your keyboard sounds a bit more dynamic sounding. And that's all I did for that uh, electric keyboard sound. And it sounds pretty close to the original. Let's check out the sounds one more time together. Really nice sounding synth sounds there. If you do want to grab these presets, I'll put a link down below where you can grab them for free. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give it a like. And also please subscribe to my channel if you are not yet subscribed. And if you'd like to check out any of my senior preset packs, head on over to store.sansmires.com.